We'll go ahead and jam and wreck. Uh, 
the current projects, before we go to the back side of the page, this is something I've, I've talked about. I don't think I've ever given you a list of things that we have done. These projects uh, are ones that we have, are currently working on, or just starting working on, or perhaps maybe even finished up in the last couple of months. But you see, uh, under the County for Hazard Mitigation Planning, we are just starting that multi-jurisdictional planning that uh, is a contract either that you've seen or, or uh, will see soon. And uh, we are working on personal policy with the Solid Waste Commission. And then we are starting up here on the Safe Routes to School plans. Other counties, I have put those down, city specific, where we're working on them, but we haven't contacted, we haven't gotten specific school districts uh, to do that project yet. So that's why I haven't put them in. But safe routes to schools plans are are plans written in communities that have a K to eight grade school in them. The uh, idea of the plan is to the reason to have one is to encourage kids to walk and bike to school. As a result of the plan, it will help the local government determine what non-infrastructure, like educational programs, may need to be done for kids, or infrastructure improvements, like sidewalk improvements or crosswalk improvements to get kids to walk to school. So that process is just starting. And you see uh, community by community some of the different projects we have worked on or still need to work on. Uh, perhaps new projects such as in Lytton, the uh, water project that may be CDBG that could be coming up for this fall application. Some of the general projects that you see there in the second column are things that we are doing region-wide from Western Mount Advantage to the Iowa Waste Exchange to some of the transportation planning that we do, traffic counts, trail counts, retro reflectivity, which is new. That is this federal standard that your uh, <coughs> traffic control signs on streets have to meet a certain reflectivity quotient, and so we have a retro reflectometer that measures that. And have been, uh, um, we are looking potentially to buy more so that each county will have access to one of those. Then the last thing on there is housing assistance. This is a calendar year number, January 1st, 2010 through December 31st of 2010. This is actual expenditures on housing projects in Sac County, $320,793. Most of the time that is for local contractors, but obviously they're out to bid, so whoever can bid on those, so you may find other county contractors working up here or Sac County contractors working in other counties that we have. Any questions on that sheet? 